Hello everyone and welcome to Crowfawn Station where we'll be starting our walk today. Starting at Crowfawn Station we head down beside the railway tracks towards Wellington College. Through the grounds of Wellington College on towards Aldershot. Up through Aldershot then on towards Bob Moor Nature Reserve. We swing around towards Broadmoor, up South Road, around some woods on towards Broadmoor Farm, up Eastern Lane into Crowform Woods, and then around on the Devil's Highway where we swing off and take the pathway that takes us down towards Caesar's Camp. Around the edge of Caesar's Camp and onto the lookout. After going around the lookout, we head off down Nine Mile Ride towards Forest Park where we swing back into Swindley Forest down towards Martin's Heron through the edge of the maze on to Martin's Heron station where we finish so let's get going Crowthorn was originally a local landmark in Windsor Forest and on Rock's map of 1761 was marked in the corner of the Devil's Highway and the first purse to Bracknell Road, now called Booker's Corner. In the 17th and 18th century, the white expanse of moorlands made Crowthorn the choice of a place for highwaymen, one being a local man, Carson Darby from Yateley. He would preach on a Sunday and rob unfortunate travellers during the week. Darby was caught and hanged after shooting the Royal Mail Coachman on Bagshot Heath. By 1823 there were two dwellings here, one being a two room. With the opening of Wellington College in 1859 and Broadmoor Hospital in 1863, Crowthorn expanded quickly. The railway reached Crowthorn in 1860 and the station was originally called Wellington College for Crowthorn. By 1894 the area had become a parish and was now the new town of its age. We repose was named it Abbottville after Prince Albert, but it kept its ancient name after a successful campaign led by Dr. Edward White Benson, and there is no trace of local legend that his wife made up the name after seeing a crow sitting on a thorn bush. And here we are in the grounds of Wellington College. The college received its Royal Charter in 1853 as the Royal and Religious Foundation of the Wellington College, designed by John Shaw, who had previously worked on Eton College. 
It opened in 1859 and its first master was Edward White Benson, who later became Archbishop of Canterbury. The school originally supported children of deceased officers who held a commission in the army, and in 1952 this was extended to orphan children of deceased officers of the Royal Navy, Royal Marines and Royal Air Force. In 2006 this was extended to orphans of all service personnel. Famous Old Wettonians include James Hunt, Rory Bremner, Christopher Lee, Claude Archenlecht, Will Young and George Orwell. And here we are in Sandhurst. Sandhurst comes from the Anglo-Saxon meaning Sandy Wooded Hill and stands on the River Blackwater. There's a royal hunting lodge here, last used by George III. Prince Arthur, Henry VIII's elder brother, crossed the Blackwater here on his way to meet his future wife Catherine Aragon. Today Sandhurst is best known for the Royal Military Academy which opened here in 1813. Moor Heath covers approximately 244 acres and it has a diverse range of plant and animal life such as dark warblers, stag beetles, glowworms, kingfishers and ragged robins. Morning. How you doing? Not too bad, thanks.
Broadmoor Hospital was built in 1863 to a design by Sir Joshua Jebb and was originally called the Broadmoor Criminal Lunatic Asylum. The first patient, a woman, was admitted on the 27th of May 1863, with the first male patient being admitted on the 27th of February 1864. Because of its high walls and office security, it has been reported by various news sources as a prison, but in fact is a hospital looked after by the National Health Service. And here we are on the Devil's Highway. This is a Roman road which ran from London to Silchester by Staines, built in 47 AD. The London end of it was rediscovered when Sir Mary Le Beau was rebuilt after the Great Fire of London in 1671. We have now entered Swinty Swinley Forest. This is a 2,600 acre working forest. Once was all moorland. The trees were grown and it was used actually as a royal hunting ground. Most of these pathways, which are quite wide, were put in for Queen Anne, who loved to hunt, but got rather large and some she couldn't ride a horse anymore, so she used to follow in her coach. Swinley Forest is well known for its mountain bike tracks and was actually possibly chosen as a site for the 2012 Olympics. But it was decided because of all the trees that the viewing was not going to be terribly good. A number of the Harry Potter films were actually filmed here as well. We've now entered Caesar's Camp. Caesar's Camp actually got its name in the Victorian period as it presumed that Julius Caesar came somewhere near here. In actual fact he never did. It's an Iron Age fort built in a roughly 500 to 300 BC. Of urban banks. It was always presumed there was never a permanent settlement here as all this area was moorland and some said it wouldn't be any good for growing crops. So it's probably only used in periods of crisis. You can now find up here deer, various reptiles, including adders. And from the actual banks you can see a good distance on a clear day. Swinley Forest is a working forest. Sometimes we come across areas like this where they've cleared all the trees away. This is part of what they call their 13 year plan. They'll leave it like this now for roughly two years before replanting and going through the same cycle again. And here we are at the lookout where we have the Swinley Bike Hub where you can hire bikes. Lookout also has a cafeteria if you wish to take a break. And here I met a group of ramblers who meet every Friday. So Ruth, you actually lead this group every yes. Friday, correct? Every Friday, yes, 10 to 11. And you're always in Swinley Forest? We are, we, are. we meet in the car park at 10 to 10 every 
Friday and we walk all year round. Come rain or shine. Oh, what sort of age groups are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, from 40 upwards. 40 upwards, so yeah. my age group anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you do any particular route or you just sort of... Um, we aim to do between two and a half and three miles every week. Same route, different route? No, we do very different. slightly. Very, very slightly. We've well, got two and a half thousand acres here, so uh, we've got yeah, fairly we've good got plenty to choose, choose from. from. Yeah. And that's rain in China, I presume. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we have snow. Been snow. snow. We've done snow. We've done rain. We've done Doris. We've done Doris. Yeah, yeah, we did Doris cancellation, but she came for real yesterday. Yeah. Um, so, are you open up to anybody coming, or? Yeah, we run beginners courses, so we have them starting in a couple of weeks' time. So they're a four-week course where they get introduced to like using the poles correctly. Um, and familiar with walking, using them, um, and then they join our main regular group, which is every Friday. And what time do you meet? Um, so the regular group is 10 to 11 walking. It tends to be a bit, a bit longer now, um, but we meet at 10 to, so we're ready to start with our warm up at 10 o'clock. And the beginners group starts at half 11 on a Friday till half 12, and they're in four week blocks, and you need to book for those. Right, and you meet in the lookout centre? We do, we meet just out in the car park, yeah. I'm like, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, there's, yeah. there's also a breakaway walk group. As yeah. well. oh, there's a rebels. There's a rebels. A development group. Yeah. High performance. On group. the Monday, we also walk here. There's normally five or six of us. Right. And um, we do four to five miles. Sometimes we get lost. It's been nearly six once. Yeah. <laughs> they have adventures. But, uh, adventures, isn't yeah. there? We only right. intend to do three, but it's regularly four. We're doing my risk assessments of other yeah. routes. That's right. <laughs> and what time do you meet for that? Ten o'clock. Uh, ten o'clock again. Again at the lookout. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, so, I mean, we tend to be like, shall we say, the, don't mind me saying this, ladies, the like slightly faster walkers. So, uh, you know, hence why we, you know, we go out. You know, but anybody is welcome to join us, as we all know that anyway. So, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And here we are at Martin Terran Station, where we end our walk today. Martin Terran, of course, is the home of Harry Potter's uncle and aunt's house, which is situated just over there, the other side of the station. <laughs>